All right, hello and welcome to Moving Parts Gaming. I am Riley and this is Fallout uh, 1. Uh, we are back with Fallout Riley again. Uh, if you watched last time, I got killed by a rat pretty quickly. Uh, he scored two good shots on me, uh, uh, and that was all she wrote, really. Uh, but now we're back with uh, version 2.0 of me, as you can see from my character sheet. Everything else is the same. Uh, and now I'm going to try to get us through uh, this little combat tutorial uh, without getting killed this time. Now we have slayed our opponents. We have completed the Raptorial. To the west, you can see a natural light. For the first time in your life, you're looking at the outside world. Not quite as cool as Fallout 3's uh, big vault emergence, uh, but still a cool moment. And this time we actually survived. Uh, we got Riley through uh, the rat tutorial cave. Uh, alive this time, took only a little bit of damage, had to burn one stem pack, uh, used about three clips of ammunition. But as you can see, I am now halfway to level one after all of that killing, which uh, should which should help us a decent amount uh, just getting started. Like I said, that's also a really great combat tutorial and a great place to get uh, get acquainted with the game and get comfortable with the combat mechanics. Uh, there are a few that I don't think I showed off, so I'll have plenty of opportunities to show off combat mechanics going into the future. I will go ahead and drop a save, and then we can continue on. All right, just dropped a save. I think we're ready to continue on and see if we can't find, find that uh, water chip. As you can see, it's December 5th, 2161, at about 6 in the morning, too. That's pretty early. We're starting at Vault 13, and on our map, if we go over, it's Vault 15. That's uh, where the Overseer said that we might find something interesting. That's our first lead looking for the water chip. So let's trek off in uh, that direction, see if we can't find it. What's this? About halfway, it looks like we came across a new uh, green circle. So let's go check Unknown now. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you are here. To the south, you see an adobe wall surrounding a peaceful-looking village. While I better do what he says, put the gun away. And, uh, go over and say hi. I see Seth. Good day, I'm called Seth. 
How can I help you? I'd like some information. Information? What do you want to know about? I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued by raiders and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. I want to know more about these rat scorpions. Those damn rat scorpions have been after our brahmins since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the bins. Last week they took my brother Jarvis. Raslo, our doctor, is looking for an antidote as quickly as he can. Hey, if you have the means to help us, why don't you uh, talk to our leader, Aradesh? Okay, I don't really want to go uh, take on those rat scorpions just yet, uh, but why don't you tell me more about this place? I'd love to know about the raiders. There are several groups of raiders. I organize guards like Ian to help fight them off. There's one band to the southeast of here. Watch out for them. Okay, so I might want to go talk to Ian at some point. Uh, do, you have to, um, do you have anything to barter? Uh, he looks looks like some caps or uh, rope. That's magnum ammo, and that's about it. So, um, no, that's not going to do it. But that. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell the flare. Some people like them. They just provide extra light, which means extra extra visibility in dark caves because um, visibility does affect accuracy in this game. But it, they kind of behave like a grenade. You can drop them or you can throw them, and they just cast light in a big circle. I just rather uh, stick it out with the dark caves and just deal with it like that. Let's go ahead and start us off with a few caps uh, to start the game off. You should speak to Aradesh, our leader. He likes to meet all our visitors. He should be in our town hall, uh, the building to the south. Oh, thank you, uh, Seth. That's very helpful. Uh, I see Katrina. She has a very pretty smile. I also see a dog. Let's talk to the dog. Woof, woof. Awesome. Okay. Welcome to Shady Sands, Traveler. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help uh, them understand our village. We find that there are a few problems if you listen to what I have to say. Tell me about yourself, Katrina. Do you have a boyfriend? My life is very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism and many of our people and many people left taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault, but then we were attacked. I was hurt and ended up here. Now I try to help people. What should I do if I get hurt? Well, if you can't get to a doctor, you will need to heal yourself. Stim packs are common healing items. Use them on yourself to heal minor wounds. First aid is a slower method, but it's always available. Major wounds, like broken legs, you'll need to use your doctor skill. That was kind of what I was talking about before. Uh, first aid and uh, stim packs heal your basic uh, hit points. Doctor and uh, doctor's bags, like the doctor skill and doctor's bags, heal... Uh, heal broken bones and kind of actual bo persistent body damage. Uh, those don't go away using stim packs. Uh, using the doctor skill or equipment or seeing a doctor is the only way to fix body damage. Tell me about this place. You're standing in shady sands. We are but a small town in a w large world. We just want to be left alone. Besides some, some mutated animals and other creatures of the desert, only the raiders give us trouble. Aradash is our leader. He is in the large central house, if you wish to speak to him. Where can I get better equipment? That's a good question. Uh, you will have to do what uh, we do, scavenge for it, or trade for it. And if you are attacked, your foes might uh, provide equipment if you live long enough to loot the corpses. Uh, we are a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for the items we cannot produce. Bartering is uh, the exchange of goods. Okay, now we're getting a bit of an, uh, an economics lesson here. So you give me some items, and I give you some items in trade. Uh, since you initiate the barter, I will let you pick and choose what you want. Uh, but the deal must be one that I think I will like. So you'll probably want to give me more valuable goods uh, that you don't need in exchange for less expensive things uh, that you want. If you don't have enough items to trade, there are always caps. Bottle caps are the only common money found here. Uh, the caps are backed by the merchants of the hub, so you can trade them anywhere. It's weird that they had the approach to bartering where uh, you trade equipment and then caps are supposed to make up the difference. Huh. Tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from the vault when I was attacked, unfortunately. 
Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened, but Dharma was watching over me, and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? Uh, he is a merchant guard who was hurt. Uh, he's recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He's more widely traveled than I am. Where was this vault of yours? It was uh, Vault 15. It was. It's due east of here. Uh, we tried to make contact with some other vaults, uh, but we always failed. I think it was the raiders who attacked us, my fellow vault dwellers. Be careful. And if you look down here, that was exactly what I was waiting for. You earned 250 experience for the knowledge you gained from Katrina. Thank you, Katrina. You helped me a lot. I'm 75% of the way to the next level. Let's go ahead and barter and see what we can get. Um, she does have a bag, which is kind of useful. Bags and backpacks in this game um, are really only useful as uh, like inventory storage. You can put items in them to like you end up with a nested inventory. It's really only good for organization when you start dealing with like a lot of guns or a lot of different types of ammo or a lot of um, a lot of usable equipment. Um, I don't really need it right now. Uh, do you have ammo? No. How much is a stem pack? 97. That's not too bad, actually. Doctor's box? Okay, that's more like it. That wasn't what I wanted. Then make up the difference. And she introduced bartering as um, you better give the other person extra value. Uh, just try to get it even as best as you can. Like, if it's even, they'll always accept it. And you can barter... Oh, that sounded weird. Uh, and you can barter with just about everyone in the game. Let's look around a little bit. I see peasant, peasant. There's just a lot of random NPCs in this game. If they don't give you some kind of description of what an NPC looks like, then it's unlikely you can have an actual conversation with the person. Uh, and this is... Now is when we're going to really get a lot of use out of the shift function. So like any good RPG, let's go ahead and run around and take everything that isn't nailed to the floor. And I'm going to be using shift to find those items. So if you remember, I think uh, Seth told us this was the guard's quarters. Uh, so there we have one guard. Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. What do you have to barter? Just caps. Not a lot of caps, so I'm nothing worth trying to trade. Uh, why not? Look, Shady Sands, don't need your kind from the hub, or junk town, or whatever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. Last trader from the hub sold his malfunction irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deals. You've got it all wrong, I'm not like that. Well, maybe you aren't. You do seem a little different to me. I'll tell you what. You should just go to Aradesh. He's in the center of town. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, he pointed us back towards Aradesh, which is just over here in the big building. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's keep poking around a little bit. Looks like BBs and Magnum ammo. Uh, no one objects if we just go ahead and take that and talk to this uh, short, stocky man. Hello, stranger. You look new around here. What's your name? Hi, I'm Riley. Uh, good to meet you. I'm Ian. So you're the person... I've heard so much about. As a guard for the merchants of the hub, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Uh, Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junk Town or the hub uh, to do some trading since I'm the only person here who has ever really left town. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks, it's uh, healing up well. Uh, ta thanks to R Raslo. Can you direct me to Junk Town and the Hub? The Hub is a big trading city far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different uh, caravan groups of merchants. The Water Merchants, Crimson Caravan, the Fargo Traders. Uh, Junk Town's a little south and a uh, ways west. It's smaller, but it's a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fella by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. And I think that was enough to get it marked on our map, too. So those are going to be uh, good places to check out if we need, uh, if the water chip lead um, dries up, so to speak, or if we happen to get um, additional work, it'll be nice to know where uh, those places are. Could you uh, help me out a bit? Your experience would be uh, useful. Mm, tempting. Since this place gets born, uh, tell you what. Uh, standard rate's 100 caps, and you've got yourself a deal. 
Uh, how about a piece of the action? All right, I'll help you out instead in exchange for my share of the loot. Let's go. It'll be good to get back in the action. Da -da -da -da. So we just recruited our first companion, Ian. Uh, getting convincing Ian to join as a companion the first speech check of the game by offering him a piece of the action. Otherwise, you could uh, just pay him the 100 caps and he'll join. I think it's a pretty easy speech check uh, to pass, though. We can trade gear with Ian by just using the steal command. That's the only way to access his inventory to move stuff around. And let's just go ahead and take all of his caps. We'll leave him with ammo because he does use a pistol, and if you leave stim packs in his inventory, he is, he is also able to use those. Uh, so that is a good thing to leave him with. And we should be extremely close to that next level, so that's a good thing to keep going. Let's go ahead and come down here. This was Raslow's house, the doctor over here on the left. I don't want to go in there just yet, so let's go in here. I see Aradesh and a busty cook preparing a meal. And I thought I saw one more person. I see a peasant. And Tandy. So we have uh, three unique characters we can interact with. Um, might as well go talk to Tandy while we're at it. Nope, that didn't work. Tandy. Tandy. Oh, wait, that's Ian. Shut up, Ian. Are you Tandy? I see one. Oh, I'm going to get you. Hold still. Hi. I heard there there we was go. a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? My name's Riley. Believe it. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Hell yeah. There's nothing to do around here but watch Brom. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this, this must be hell for you. Me? Leave? I wish... I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. And worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. I think her father's Tandy. I don't know if that is ever brought up, though. Tough situation. Sure, can I ask yes. you a few questions? I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, uh, what you need? What else There's is around these parts? Down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. Oops. Let's go ahead and barter. Okay, just a knife and uh, some caps. Well, uh, thank you, Tandy. You seem like a very nice, uh, no problem. nice Anything person. Else? Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. All right, bye, Tandy. It was nice to meet you. Have a good night, because I think it's still night. Oh, that's not too late, actually. I thought it was like 3 in the morning, so I was doing all the stuff I could do at night before uh, advancing the clock. Let's talk to the cook. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. Hmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Uh, thanks for the compliment. I'm going to tell all my friends about you. Oh, thank you. That was actually a small skill check. I want to say charisma or luck. I'm not sure off the top of my head. And I don't know. I think we succeeded. I don't know what the result was. Let's go ahead and talk to Aradesh. Your business in Shady Sands might be... I'm from a vault to the west. My people are dying of thirst and I need uh, to find a water purifying ship uh, to help Wonder, them survive. I shall believe you for now. You I think he says that regardless sense, of what you said. Be warned, your every move will be watched. I think Aradesh is the second ugliest character in this game. Like, the Overseer is gross. Aradash is up there, too. Like, we saw Tandy. Tandy's face looks just fine. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Okay. And now Go the on. monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Well, I can help you get rid of those things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. 
Okay. And that gives us uh, a beat on our first side quest. So Airdash has asked us to uh, help kill off the rat scorpions. We know that Seth can lead us to... Uh, oh, wait, I forgot something. We already know that Seth uh, can lead us to the cave when we're ready. Uh, and we grabbed Ian to help back us up. If you talk to Airdash first, then you're able to tell Seth, or you're able to tell Ian uh, that you're going to go fight the Rad Scorpions and you'd like backup, and he'll agree to follow you under those situa- under that situation as well. And there we just grabbed some more equipment. It's not stealing if uh, no one objects to you doing it. And just about every container on this map can be looted without consequence. There's only one that, uh, and I'll point it out later, there's only one in all of Shady Sands, only one container that you're not allowed to take from. Uh, here's a little outhouse, and uh, because we have that nice shift uh, highlight items option, uh, we're able to see that there's a little book hidden in there. And we have, you have no idea. Upon further inspection, you still have no idea what this is, but it weighs one pound. And I guess it's kind of suggested like, at first I thought this was, um, like, a Chinese uh, spy stealth uh, manual, uh, like you would see in Fallout 3 or New Vegas, but I'm actually pretty sure it's just porn, and the Vault Dweller has never seen, uh, like, a Playboy before, so he has no idea what he's looking at. So here is the east side of uh, Shady Sands. Uh, Brahmin pit over here, uh, then some farmlands. A lot of just basic citizens and peasants just hanging around. Some of these people should have names. One of these guys is a merchant. I'll come back to him in a second. But if we use our nice shift feature, we can go ahead and find another container right there that we can open up uh, and grab a rope and a uh, Boy Scout handbook. And then if we use shift again, we can see there's two more items down there. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. I hope you don't mind if I uh, just snag that. And um, not right now, Ian. And uh, help myself to this one as well. And because this is the starting town, no one uh, seems to object to us just uh, borrowing. A weather-beaten farmer, because he, uh, because we get a description of what he looks like instead of just a peasant. This should be a unique interaction. Good day. Hello. Uh, what can I do for you? What's your name? Uh, I'm called Curtis. Uh, what can you tell me about your village, Curtis? Our village is small, but we support ourselves aside from the uh, attacks by raiders and the occasional rat scorpion. Uh, we have no problems. Airdash is a good leader. Uh, what are you doing? I'm a farmer. We irrigated the desert many years ago. Although the wasteland is harsh, it's possible to grow things with patience and time. I see. You seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, nothing right now. I'll come back and talk to you later. So we checked out the barracks. We checked out the little shack. We introduced ourselves to Curtis. And then the only merchant in town. Let's see if we can't offload some of our junk and maybe pick up some more uh, ammo. Hello, Wanderer. I trade and sell goods to fine people. I'll buy it at a high price. Would you like to look at my wares? Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more jacketed hollow point because I've been burning through that pretty quickly. Let's see, what else can we sell? Let's hold on to the mint tats because that's a pretty big um, windfall once we get around to selling it. Oh, that's pretty close. Then make up the difference, and that's a decent trade. All right, see you around. Okay, so the last person we need to talk to now that we're back in the middle of uh, Shady Sands is uh, Raslo the Doctor. However, he's actually closed during the night. Uh, so let's go ahead and wait till morning. Resting is also an effective way of um, recovering health if it's your only option. Like if you're out of stem packs, you're also allowed to use uh, skills. You can use first aid and doctor three times each per day. But let's say you're out of stem packs and you're out of uh, skill checks, then you can always wait to recover health. And using Whenever you use a skill, it eats up a small amount of time, so it's kind of like a trade-off of a little bit of health. You give up a little bit of time, you gain a little bit of health. And that's how a lot of the stuff in this game is going to go. Give up a little bit of time. Giving up a little bit of time might prove uh, extremely useful for us. 
And on the other side, uh, we'll also get options to kind of put time back on the clock if we're willing to spend resources for it. So now we're in the doctor's house. Uh, he would have told us to just get out if we tried to come in in the middle of the night. If we look around a bit, there's a mopey guy wandering around. Just a random peasant, but there is someone, a pale, wiry young man in the medical bed. There's Raslo's wife. I don't think she has anything to say to us, but let's go ahead and talk to Raslo. Can I help you? Uh, I don't need healing, and I don't... I haven't been poisoned. Uh, what do you know about rad scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent. Not diluted, as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, uh, which helps some of my tests. And how such large creatures can even be possible by natural evolution, or even radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. Anything else? They seem to be sensitive to light. Nocturnal. If I could get a sample of their poison, especially the venom production sac located in their tail, I could create an anti-venom. Thanks, that's uh, potentially useful information. So now, just based on that information alone, we kind of expanded that first quest. So to recap, we've made our way to the vault, ran into a small town halfway to uh, that first vault. We found out that that vault used to be inhabited relatively recently, uh, but has since been abandoned when half of them uh, left and joined uh, raider gang. And then those same raider gangs kind of raided the vault, and many of the people were kind of scattered and ended up here in Shady Sands. So instead of heading on and dealing with that quest, I think it would be a good idea if we... Uh, go ahead and help the town out with their rad scorpion problem first. Uh, see if they can't, see if that doesn't open up a few um, options for us. Uh, get us additional experience and some extra equipment and resources while we're at it too. But I think that's going to be a good idea. Uh, good thing to start with uh, next time. So uh, stay tuned and uh, catch you next time.